It's happened. You're in the middle of an important video call, streaming the season finale, or about to win an online game, and then... nothing. The websites stop loading, the video freezes, and the connection is gone. You stare at your Verizon router, perhaps a blinking light you don't recognize, and that sinking feeling of being completely disconnected from the digital world hits you. Your Verizon internet is not working, and you need it fixed now. The frustration is immediate. You don't know where to start. Is the problem with your computer, your router, or is the entire Verizon network down in your neighborhood? The feeling of helplessness can be overwhelming. But what if you had a clear, step-by-step -step plan? In this definitive troubleshooting guide, we are going to walk you through every single step to diagnose and fix your Verizon internet. We will cover the simple but essential reboots, how to understand what those blinking router lights are telling you, how to check for a network outage, and the advanced steps you can take before ever needing to call for support. By the end of this video, you will have a clear action plan to get yourself back online. Before you touch a single piece of equipment, the first and most critical step is to determine the scale of the problem. Is it just you, or is it Verizon? First, perform a quick multi-device test. If your computer has no internet, grab your smartphone and see if it can connect to your Wi-Fi network. Check a smart TV or another laptop if you have one. If only one device is offline, the problem is likely with that specific device, not your Verizon service. However, if all your devices are offline, you know the issue is with your network. Now for the most important preliminary step, checking for a network outage. This single action can save you an hour of pointless troubleshooting. Use your smartphone, but make sure you turn Wi-Fi off and use your cellular data. Open a web browser and search for Verizon Outage Map or Verizon Service Outage Checker. Verizon has an official page where you can either sign into your account or enter your street address to see if there's a known service interruption in your area. This is like checking the weather report before you fix your umbrella. If there's a confirmed outage, no amount of fiddling with your router will help. You'll know that Verizon is aware of the problem and is working to fix it. If the outage map shows no problems in your area, then it's time to look at your own equipment. Over 70% of home internet issues can be solved with one simple yet specific procedure, a proper power cycle. And there is a right way and a wrong way to do this. Simply unplugging the router and plugging it back in immediately is often not enough. You need to do a full timed reboot to allow the internal components to completely reset. Here is the correct way to power cycle your equipment. First, go to your Verizon router or gateway and unplug the power cord from the back of the device. Don't just unplug it from the wall, unplug it from the router itself. Now, if you have Verizon Fios, you will have a second box, likely in your basement, garage, or a closet. This is the Optical Network Terminal, or ONT, and it's where the fiber optic cable enters your home. Unplug the power from that ONT box as well. Now for the most critical part of this process. Wait. Leave both devices unplugged for at least 60 seconds. This is non-negotiable. This waiting period allows the internal capacitors to fully discharge and clears any temporary glitches or memory errors that may have been causing the problem. After waiting a full minute, plug the ONT box back in first. Wait another two to three minutes for its lights to become solid green. Once the ONT is fully online, you can then plug your Verizon router back in. The router will take another three to five minutes to fully boot up, connect, and establish a connection. Be patient. Go make a cup of coffee. When you come back, there's a very high chance your internet will be working perfectly. If a proper power cycle didn't solve the problem, your router's status light is your next best clue. Let's decode what those lights are telling you, starting with a Verizon Fios router. If the light is a solid white or solid blue, that's good news. It means your router is online and connected to the internet. If the problem persists, it might be a Wi-Fi issue rather than an internet issue. If the light is blinking white or blinking blue, it means the router is booting up or trying to establish a connection. If it continues to blink for more than 10 minutes, it's stuck. The most important light to watch for is a blinking or solid red or amber yellow light. This indicates that the router is not receiving an internet signal from the ONT. 
This tells you the problem is likely with the ONT box or the line coming into your house. A solid red light can also indicate a hardware failure, which almost always requires a call to Verizon. Now, let's talk about the lights on a Verizon 5G home internet gateway, as they are a bit different. A solid white light is what you want to see. It means you have a good to excellent 5G connection. A solid yellow or amber light means you have a weaker 4G or 5G signal. Your internet will likely still work, but it may be slow. A blinking white light just means it's trying to connect. The problem indicators here are red lights. A blinking red light often means there's an issue with the SIM card inside the gateway. A solid red light is the main indicator that the service is down and it cannot connect to the Verizon network. If the lights have pointed you to a problem, there are a few advanced steps you can take before making the call. For Fios customers, if your router light is red or yellow, go check your ONT box. Are the lights on it green? Also, check the physical Ethernet cable that runs from the ONT to your router. Make sure it is securely plugged into both ports. Sometimes a loose cable is the only thing wrong. If you have a spare Ethernet cable, trying to swap it out is an excellent troubleshooting step. For Verizon 5G Home, Internet customers, if your light is yellow or red, the issue is all about signal strength. Your gateway works just like a cell phone. Its position in your home matters immensely. Try moving the gateway to a different location, ideally on a higher floor and closer to a window. Even moving it a few feet can sometimes be the difference between a weak yellow light and a strong white one. Keep it away from other electronics that could cause interference. Your absolute last resort before calling for help is a factory reset. I want to be very clear. This is the nuclear option. A factory reset will erase all of your custom settings. This includes your Wi-Fi network name, your Wi-Fi password, and any custom settings like port forwarding or parental controls. Only do this if you are comfortable setting up your network again from scratch, using the default information printed on the sticker on your router. To perform a reset, you typically need to use a paperclip to press and hold a small, recessed reset button on the back of the router for 15 to 30 seconds until the lights flash. So when is it officially time to give up and call for support? Here is your checklist. It's time to call the Verizon support number. If you have confirmed there is no widespread outage in your area, you have performed a full and correct 60-second power cycle on your equipment, your router light is still red or amber, you have checked all the physical cable connections for Fios, or repositioned your 5G gateway, and a factory reset did not solve the problem. When you're ready to call, here are the numbers. For Verizon Fios internet support, the number is 1-800-VERIZON. For Verizon 5G home, internet support, since it's a wireless product, you can call the main wireless support line at 1-800-922-0204 or simply dial 611 from a Verizon mobile phone. When you get a representative on the line, save yourself time by telling them everything you've already done. Say, my internet is not working, I've already checked for outages, I've power cycled my ONT and my router, and my router's light is solid red. This proves you've done your homework and allows them to skip the basic script and move on to more advanced diagnostics. Today, you've learned a complete diagnostic process for when your Verizon internet is not working. You now know how to check for an outage, how to perform a proper power cycle, how to understand what your router's lights are telling you, and you know exactly when it's time to make the call for professional help. You are no longer helpless when your internet goes down. You have a plan, and you have the knowledge to take control of the situation and get yourself back online. What's the most common light you see on your Verizon router? Let us know in the comments below. If this comprehensive guide helped you solve your internet woes, please do us a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to Mobile Services Center for more clear step-by-step -step tech solutions that empower you.